are we are concerned about the delay. Up to now, we've not been consulted in terms of establishment of a cabinet. As I said earlier on, we hope that the leadership of the ANC, in particular the president, will will consult the alliance partners in terms of establishment before he do the announcement. Yes, we are concerned about some of the policies, some of the legislation. Uh, for an example, as the President Mike has said, we do have people who are anti-workers, who are part of the national unity, for the government of national unity. And, and that's the concern that they may come back and say something else, even though in the briefing that uh, Comrade Mike is, is, is indicating that we're briefed in the political council, we did raise, but we were told that uh, we should not be worried about the ANC will, is leading in that national government. I think the president has spoken about DA, the, way, the manner in which they conduct themselves, and we're un unapologetic that DA continue to consistently to present <laughs> issues of racism. You know, you have seen it, one of their members who is in parliament, who made statement that is very, very, very dangerous to and, and threatening the workers in particular. And, and the DA says, no, it's suspended, it must be investigated. Our call is that it must be prosecuted. There's no difference between the statement made by the president of EFF and the statement made by Hose. The same thing, the racism, and racism is criminal. He must be charged and face the music. And secondly to that is that we have always maintained that we are an alliance of three independent alliance components the African National Congress, SACP, and COSATU, independent in other words that we are within our right or reserve our right to take decisions the best way we see it, even if to the disagreement of our alliance partners. And I think it should be noted that uh, given the pressure the African National Congress is going through now, perhaps that became the safest way for them to, to go into their own internal National Executive Committee independently take decisions as they see it fit because they also have other political parties to contend with. <clears throat> Having said that, there was an Alliance Secretariat meeting prior to the sitting of the National Executive Committee meeting in which the direction which was to be taken about forming a government was engaged. We did indicate our view preliminary as a national office bearers at the time that will prefer a minority government. And a follow-up meeting was to take place. It didn't take place until the National Executive Committee met and pronounced the government of national unity. So yes, there was a, a little bit of, a, of, a, of engagement, of a briefing, but the NEC took a decision and once that had happened, where an alliance partner we needed to respect that. <clears throat> we, we could not scream uh, any more than that, except indicating our opposition to allow the Democratic Alliance to, to, to play the music, or to call the tune for that, as you will see now in the media and at, at that time. We were in opposition, particularly on a grand coalition between the ANC and the Democratic Alliance, we knew that once we go to the government of national unity, there will be no way you're going to exclude the democratic alliance. Because if it's the government of national unity, you need to include almost everybody who is prepared to participate. So we had just to continue to indicate that which we are against the ADA of accepting that they will be in the government of national unity. Post that, when the statement of intent was now engaged with the political parties, there was an Alliance Political Council meeting, which we attended, which we were briefed. So when to separate being briefed and being consulted? Because those are two different <coughs> things. So when you are consulted, understanding that even when you are consulted doesn't mean that your views must be taken into consideration. But at least you were asked for your view. You were consulted. But we were briefed about the statement of intent, as it was now done, the, the direction the ANC have chosen to go. The SG of the ANC came here in this boardroom in the Central Executive Committee of COSATU, also further brief 
the highest decision making point of Cosato, which the CC, about the same thing and the direction the ANC is going. So we appreciate that briefing. And also accept and, and, and respect that the ANC in this instant have chosen to be clear about the, the independence of each one of ours. So were they meeting? Yes. Were there consultation? No. Were there briefing? Yes. It was a briefing. Uh, I, I hope I have, I have clarified the two, the two comments. Okay. And I think on the strike, <coughs> it is both private and public the GSF responded. <coughs> we, we know now, moving towards the election, when long before the elections, particularly in the mining sector, particularly in the post office, telecommunication, and, and a num number of sectors that have been disseminated jobs. And, uh, and uh, again, even in the public service. So we feel that it, these are some of the rights that uh, are under threat even more now in the government of national unity, which includes people who have never stood for the workers' rights. They have never stood for the creation of employment. In fact, some of them, they came here, they declared this house an enemy number one of the country. They are now today part of the leaders. From where they stand, the workers, those belong to COSAT, are the enemies of the growth in this country. So we are, we are sure that we are in for a bumpy ride in front of us, and that is why we, we felt the CEC it is important for us to focus also on consolidating our unity so that we can be able to, to resist the onslaught that is going to come towards the way of workers. We, I, I don't know why we should have uh, assessed the emergence of MK Party, because the, there were many parties that, were, that emerged uh, 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 during these elections. Uh, there were others that emerged in the last local government elections. There were, there were many that, uh, that came around. Yes, the MK part became a, a, a factor. So from where we stand, is that MK party, like any other political party, is a political player in our country's body politics, which we'll have to contend with moving forward. Uh, of course, we know that uh, because we went to the, to the ballots uh, uh, trying to, to get a progressive agenda, in this case, as represented by the ANC. We, we noted that uh, some of the things they stand for seeks to take us back, particularly in our quest to, to build a, a, a national a unity or a, a national a state or one unitary state for that matter, because they sometimes advocate for something that uh, borders on federalism or even feudalism for that matter, that uh, we, must, we, must, we must subject ourselves to, to the monarchy, something that uh, many of the African countries were trying to, to move away from. But other than that, or beyond that, we have to accept that they are a political player, they have entered our space, they will have to be engaged with or to be, to be interacted with the same way uh, South African society is interacting with any other political parties in the country. There was no, nothing major that we thought uh, uh, needed to be resolved to isolate the MK party over DA. Because our enemy is DA, it's not anybody else. Because the DA has declared us as their enemy, so we are, we are returning the favor, but not the MK party.